Alrighty, hello guys, welcome me faces back to another Stormworks Build and Rescue video. Today we are obviously continuing on with our submarine, as you guys can see right here. This is where we're at so far. I figured what we'd actually do today was actually, like, work on something like, uh, I don't know, bedrooms, dorm rooms, something like that. Uh, this is obviously what we did last time. We also added a periscope. Uh, I would like to add some stuff in here to make it look a little bit nicer in here, but, um... Yeah, we've got red lights, we've got white lights, it's uh, kind of nice, but um, I feel like it's kind of empty in here. I, there, there should be more in here. But anyway, uh, if we go through this door, I feel like we should have a mini bedroom slash dorm room, uh, and then we should have an equipment room and something like that, uh, and then at the very front, I kind of feel like we should have maybe torpedoes. We'll see. We'll see what happens at the front. But anyway, let's go ahead and uh, get on with it, shall we? <laughs> Okie dokie, so let's go ahead and get inside and we'll figure out where we actually are. Here we go. So, let's go ahead and get a bed and we'll see what the beds actually look like in here. Uh, so if I do that, the door will open and crush the bed. Yeah, that's actually what will happen there. So we don't want that to happen. Uh, so what we'll do is we'll drag this out uh, to here and we'll do it on both sides actually. Let's do it on both sides. Make sure everything's okay. There we go. We'll do it to about there. And then we need to make sure we have enough room for another bed. So this might have to go on the floor, and then a bed can go above it. Uh, and I think we'll actually have two of these. So we'll go with another one, turn it around, right there. Awesome. Uh, they're not going to be green, though. They're not actually going to be green. We need a bed on the bottom, too. Hold on. There we go. So let's go ahead and paint these up. So I'm thinking the bed colors are actually going to be blue. We're going to have the, the quilts be blue. There we go. Uh, and the beds themselves also going to be blue. Wait, that's not even on the ground. Oh, interesting. Okay, so the beds are going to be blue. Let me uh, just put those in. One second. Oh, there we go. Uh, put it in the right place, though. Fantastic. There we go. All right, green walls are going to separate them. So let's go ahead and do that. And at the very top, they're going to be separated again. Awesome. And then on this edge, we're going to go ahead and do this because we should. Uh, we'll delete this. We'll grab this and we'll put it in again. There we go. All right, it's the right color now and everything, so that's good. Turn this around, put that in, do that, and voila! We have ourselves a little dorm room. Uh, so, at a time, there's allowed to be eight people that actually can go to sleep. Which, um, yeah, makes sense. That makes sense to me. Cool. Uh, they should have their own stuff in here, though, but I'm not entirely sure what to do. Hmm. Ah, you see, this is a problem. I can't actually put anything, like, here, because the beds obviously interrupt that. Uh, but shelves over the beds would obviously be, like, really cool. Uh, but that is not something we can currently do. Unless the bed's actually folded up into place. But, uh, that is not something that I am gonna do. We're not gonna fold the beds. That doesn't make sense, uh, to me. Anyway, we're gonna go ahead and leave enough room for three and three and one. There we go. Uh, we're gonna go like that. Awesome. This is gonna be, like, an equipment area. So, let's go ahead and start filling it with equipment, shall we? Uh, I don't know what equipment we want, though, to be honest. So, welding torches are obviously pretty good. Let's go ahead and put those in the middle. We'll have welding torches on one side, and on the other side, we'll have underwater welding torches. So we'll put those there. Uh, and we're actually gonna make those blue, because, uh, I feel like they should be, like, linked up with this color, sort of. There we go, in fact, that color. There we go, they're both the same. Nice. So we got underwater welding torches, above water welding torches, and that is awesome. We also need a fire extinguisher, probably on both sides, so we'll do that. Uh, and then we need to work on clothing. So scuba gear is a big thing in submarines. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and have a lot of it. There we go. A good four scuba gear. No, actually, diving equipment is what we want. Diving, diving, diving. That's firefighting. We do need some of that, but diving equipment, where is it? Diving equipment. Here it is. All right, there we go. There we go. Delete that. Put this in. Very good, very good, and uh, that's all right, cool. Arctic gear is also a pretty good thing to have, so we'll have a firefighting equipment on this side, uh, on this side, on both of them, there we go, uh, and then we'll have Arctic gear above that. Okay, so Arctic gear above that, very cool. There we go, good. Uh, it's not gonna be that color though, it's gonna be red, there we go. So we got Arctic gear, we've got firefighting equipment, we got diving equipment, very good. Uh, the firefighting equipment should really be next to this, uh, but never mind. It's okay. Right, cool. Then, uh, on this side, 
We need more things. Hazmat gear is obviously a very important thing. So I have some hazmat gear on this side. Uh, and we'll also have... Maybe some scuba gear would work. Some scuba gear would be a good idea. So that's what we'll do. Scuba gear, scuba gear. Alright, very good. Then we're gonna go ahead and delete these walls. Uh, just there and just there. And then on this side too, just there. And also just there. And we're gonna put in a bunch of single equipment. Because we totally should. So... Uh, how do we do this? Radiation detection should probably go next to the hazmat stuff. Here we go, we'll have like, I don't know, one of those there. We, we need to make it the right color too. Uh, so it's gonna be this green. Here we go, the hazmat gear is gonna have this, and also this. There we go, awesome. Uh, we're then gonna have some first aid equipment right there, and right there. Okay, good. We'll do one side for now, but they're pretty much gonna be the same on both sides, probably. Uh, so there we go, very good. Some of this. There we go, some hose. Um, what else? A flare would be pretty useful at some point, so that's good. Uh, and what else? What else do we actually need? A flashlight, just in case you don't have one. Yes. Alright, there we go, a flashlight. Uh, anything else that we really, really need? A radio would be pretty cool. There we go. And what else? A strobe light. Sure. Why not? Strobe light. Cool. So we'll put all that in. Uh, we'll put it on this side. And that'll be pretty good. Uh, we do probably need more first aid kits. So let's go ahead and grab some of that. And put it on this side. Do 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 do. First aid kit right there. Awesome. Uh, we'll do the same thing on this side. So we'll do this bit. And then we'll do the other bit. That's okay. We are going to put in one of these up here. Because we probably should. Um, we need a cable as well. Most likely. At some point. There we go. Uh, we should probably have rope too. But for now. We'll go for this. And also, this. Okay. No, wait. Delete this. Defibrillator. That is a very, very important piece. So there we go. Defrib. Nice. Okay. So that's pretty good. We're going to copy and paste this to the other side. We're going to copy and paste this to the other side. Uh, and we're going to have them both there. Actually, no. We're not. We're not. I told the lie. We're actually going to have rope in there. Here we go. So rope right there. Rope right there. We're going to have cable in there. And we're going to have hose in there. So, hose is going to go here, and here, and then cable is going to go at the top, cable, and cable, there we go, delete this hose, replace it with something better. Alright, I decided to just put first aid kits in there, we're going to delete this first aid kit, and we'll just put in something like an oxygen mask, because, actually, that is a pretty useful thing to have. Oxygen mask, go ahead and whack that in, uh, right there, and that is awesome, so we've got our... Uh, cables and also um, hoses and stuff over here. And on this side, we obviously got this stuff. We're going to go ahead and grab this door. We're going to delete this. And we're going to put the doors in the exact same way. So they're going to go there like that. Same on this side. We're going to delete all of this. I'm going to put that in. And that is A-OK. -okay. Alright, fill that in there. Fill this in here. Uh, these aren't going to be separated, so that's OK. Um, we need something here, but I'm not sure what. I'm not sure what exactly would go there, to be honest. Uh, and that is actually pretty cool. We'll leave it like that. Uh, the bottom of this bed is gonna be... white? No, it's gonna be the same as the roof, actually. There we go. Same as the roof, same as the roof. Same with these ones. Same as the roof, same as the roof. Same as the roof, and same as the roof. Alright, very good. Uh, and I kind of feel like this should go here. But I'm not sh entirely sure that's a good idea. I don't know. Alright, we'll do it on the other side. We'll see if this door still opens, and then we'll figure it out from there. Okie dokie, go through this door. It does, in fact, open straight into the side, and that is A-OK. -okay. We should fill this with something, and I'm actually thinking at the minute, we're gonna block this off, uh, and the ballast tank- not ballast tanks. We can have some pumps in here that actually empty out some of the rooms. So, like, a bilge pump for this room, and probably a bilge pump for that room as well, uh, can go in this little- little area. We can then put another one of those in here as well. Sorry, in this bit, probably. Uh, in order to do this area. And, yeah. We'll do the bit in front as well. But, um, that's good. We got ourselves some rooms. We need some lights inside of these. Uh, and we'll be good. Awesome. Okay, so we're back inside. Uh, I did realize that this is, uh, painted differently. So we're gonna go ahead and paint this the same. Uh, and that is A-OK. -okay. Awesome. Now, for the lights. How are we gonna do this? I don't know. Do it on both sides. We can have a light right here. Awesome. Light right here. Awesome. And that's probably enough lights for this room, to be fair. Uh, we'll have a light right there for this room. 
Okay, and actually a light on this side too. Okay, fantastic. Uh, inside here, it doesn't really matter for now, because this wall's going to get deleted, these are going to get deleted, and we're going to be using this area for other things. Yeah. Uh, let's see what it sits like in the water now, actually. Because I deleted the, uh, the batteries, and they're really heavy. It's still very front heavy. Interesting. You know, I'm actually going to delete a lot of this weight underneath, too. We're actually going to delete all of it, actually. There we go. Delete all of that. Delete all of this. Then spawn it in. See what that looks like. It's still really heavy at the front for some reason. But then, it comes up a bit. But doesn't float. Weird. Oh, I see I see a lot more weight in here that uh, I didn't realize was actually in here. So, this is at the front of the ship. We're going to get rid of all of this weight, I guess. Uh, that's back here. Get rid of all of it. There we go. Uh, and then spawn it in again. I don't think that was enough to make it do that, though. Look at it nosedive when it spawns. That's crazy. But it is getting closer and closer to the surface. So that's good. You know, what I will do is... I'm actually going to put a pivot in just to make sure it floats. At least while we're testing it, because uh, I feel like it should. So we'll put in, like, two pivots on each side. There we go. Do that and that. Uh, and as long as it floats just a tiny bit, that would be perfect. Let's see what it does. And... It's so close! It's so close, but not close enough. Damn it. Okay, I sorted it. I actually sorted it because um, essentially what I did was I made the ballast tank on the bottom a little bit smaller and uh, that's allowed this to happen. Although I don't really know what's going on with that. I'm not going to lie. I'm not sure what's happening there. Okay, so we're not actually done with the dorm room yet uh, because I feel like they should have stuff. Like, I, I feel like they should have some stuff in there. Uh, but I don't really know what. Uh, they should just have things underneath their beds because reasons uh, like, I don't know. Transmitters? No, maybe not transmitters. Um, I don't know what would go under, like, what would they have under their bed as a navy man? Maybe like an electric motor? For some reason? Uh, probably not in that color though. Let's do it in like brown. There we go. We'll do that. Awesome. Uh, we'll have some of these. There we go, like little cans of things. Actually, no, let's just delete these. Do this. There we go. Looks weird, but at the same time, I don't know. It might help us. It looks a little bit cool, actually. Uh, we're not going to make the beds blue either. We're going to make them brown. We're going to make the beds brown. There we go. Same everywhere. There we go. And there. And there. And that's it. All right. Doesn't go really, really go well with the covers. But if we made them cream, then maybe that would work. Actually, they should be the same color as everything else. What am I talking about? There we go. All right, same color as everything else. Fantastic. Yeah, no, that's fine. Okay, right, let's make the uh, the, the lights turn on then. So we'll only have this on one side. We'll do it over here. Uh, we'll have normal lights, and that's it. Here we go. Lights. Although they should probably have red lights too, to be fair. Uh, they should probably have light red lights too. But anyway, doesn't matter. Button is what we're looking for. Here we go. So toggle button, put it right there. Link it with the lights on the roof. We go these ones as well and connect these to each other Awesome connect them to the battery connect them to there and that is all nice This place then all needs to be connected to each other, which is gonna take me a while So I'll do that really quickly uh, and then we'll see what happens from there. Also these aren't connected to anything Weird. Oh, it's not weird at all. We deleted the batteries. Yeah, we deleted the big batteries at the front It's not weird Okie dokie, so I've actually went ahead and I've connected uh, all of these together, they're all connected. The lights are actually connected to the electricity as well, except we don't actually have a button in here yet, so we'll try and keep all the buttons on the re like a relatively similar place. We'll put it right here, uh, because reasons. Here we go. Put the button in right there, connect it to the electricity just next to it, and connect it to the ceiling, because that's where the lights are. We then actually need to change all the light colours to cream? I want a cream. Yeah, let's do cream. Here we go. Let's do it in this room, too. They're not going to be white. They're going to be cream. All right. Because I want it to be sort of dingy inside of here, uh, and that makes sense. So there we go. All right. I think they're all attached. Um, I give it electricity. Let's see what these lights are like. Okay. We're on board the submarine. Let's go ahead and go forwards. Go downstairs. There we go. Awesome. Go downstairs again. Awesome again. Here we go. Go forwards. We seem to be listing, which is really weird. Not sure why that's happened. Lights in here. Perfect. Good. Go to the next side. Turn the lights on in here. Also perfect. 
Water is flooding in here. Why is there water in here? Why is there wa Is that a spawner? That's the spawner. Right, that makes sense. Okay, so now that spawner's gone, uh, it actually floats a lot more at the front than the back. That's weird. Okay, so all that weight that I deleted, I deleted uh, wrong, Lee. I shouldn't have done that. All right, delete these. Make sure that they're gone. Um, and get rid of this wall. Okay, and spawn it in again. Let's see if that works. Oh, oh, because the back end is so heavy. I don't know why it's done that, though. But I, I don't understand. All right, that's close enough. I mean, we're gonna we're gonna sort this out in the end anyway. This isn't to be sorted out today, but um, yeah, we've actually done an all right job today. We've we've made these rooms actually work, which is perfect. Uh, the lights inside these rooms do work. Uh, unfortunately, for this dorm room, I don't know what to do with it. I'm not entirely sure what to do with it. What I am gonna do though is I'm gonna try and make it look a little bit nicer, purely by adding like bits like this. All right. Even though it doesn't make it look super nice, it changes things up enough so that it looks better than it did, which is perfect, because that's what you need. That's exactly what we need. But anyway, uh, that's all good. Cool. Come to this room. That's all all right, too. Uh, the flooring is still all of this, except from, like, a, it, it's not this. Uh, and I'm not sure whether to change it to this. Also, this room does need lights, and it also needs to look better. So what I was thinking was we'd actually get rid of... Like, we do this sort of thing. There we go. So you can't really see through. Um, because it's blue, it's red, it's all different colours. I don't really want to see in there. So, there you go. We'll just get rid of it. Nice. Uh, we'll then actually just do this. Alright, cool. So we can see uh, what we set the um, reactor thing to. We can see the reactor temperature, generator output, and the battery. As well as the throttle lever, which does something. Can't remember. Doesn't do anything. Interesting. All right, cool. Actually, we don't need that throttle lever, do we? Nope. All right, there we go. So that's all good. We'll go ahead and do this. This is like the reactor room, uh, which probably needs hazmat suits in, actually. So let's do that instead. There we go. Hazmat suit. Cool. Hazmat suit. Cool. Hazmat suit. We're just going to have loads and loads of hazmat suits and another hazmat suit right there. Okay. We're hazmat suited up. Good. Uh, we're going to make those all yellow. Because I think that's what hazmat suits should be. They should be yellow. Good. All right, let's do this. Awesome. Uh, we need to figure out the rest of it too. Yeah. All right, cool. I like that. Uh, not sure what else to do in this room though. So we'll just have a little look at these. And we'll see if there's anything we should add. Like a lockable button is a massive thing for a nuclear reactor room. Probably. I don't know if we should do that though. I don't know. Uh, but for right now, I think we've done an alright job. We need some lights, though. We do. We just need lights. Here we go. Light. Yes. Uh, let's grab a normal light. Let's make it this color for now. And we'll put it in the side. We'll actually put one there. And we'll put one there. Okay. Uh, we're then going to paint them, obviously. Here we go. Paint them this color. Do, 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 do. Good. Good. Awesome. Uh, and then, we're going to actually have the button for them. There, I believe. Button. Toggle button. It's going to be green again. Yes. Bam. Good. Connect this to there. To there. To there. To there. Very nice. And connect them to the electricity. Just like so. Uh, which is actually going to be connected to all of this. Connected back to there. Connected to here. And connected downwards. Okay. Good. Good A. All right. Awesome. Uh, I think everything is then connected to each other, which is awesome. Uh, we've got all the power going on, which is fantastic. This needs to be connected to there. And then that room should work for power too. Good. So now we've got a dorm room. We've got an equipment room. We've got the reactor room back here, which is actually fully serviced. Uh, I'm thinking of getting rid of one of these doors. Probably this one. Uh, and filling that in. Here we go. Just like so. Okay. Just like that. There we go. Nice. Spawn this in. Let's get down there. Check it out. Okay, we're down on the ship. Let's go ahead and get inside. Do, 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 do. Yes. Downstairs again. Awesome. Inside of here is lovely. That's cool. If we go back this way, it's obviously pretty bland in here, actually, but I like it. That's all right. Um, so we got all the hazmat suits. Cool. We should probably have, like, monitors or something in here, too. That'd be awesome. Anyway, go ahead and open that. Close it up. 
Okay, cool. This room, room is, is alright, I suppose. Uh, we got this. Which is our periscope. A lot of you guys did say that I could have kept the, uh, the way that I had it in the first one. Uh, and that is true, but never mind. Anyway, go through here, and we've obviously got this room. Did I delete the button? I did. We can't use these lights anymore. Never mind. Uh, and then we got this. Awesome. And then if we go even further forwards, we got nothing in here yet, but maybe torpedoes. We'll see. Alright, well anyway, uh, I'm actually going to end this video here for now. If you guys can think of anything to make this room look a little bit nicer on the inside, then uh, let me know. I'm going to go ahead and replace this with a button so that we can actually do the lights in here. But uh, yeah, if you guys can think of anything to add to either this room, uh, the equipment room, this room, uh, and this room, let me know in the comments down below because uh, your input is actually very, very important to me. Um, we will be putting in tanks, uh, not tanks, we'll be putting in like pumps and stuff soon. So that we can actually pump out, like, villages and stuff. Um, and that'll be alright. Yeah. But anyway, for right now, thank you guys very much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.